Bum 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 Garzby Beasties, and we are in the middle of the ocean at the moment because we are going to be working on our tree. Now, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to introduce what I'm going to do, I'll uh, show you exactly what I'm planning to do, and then I'm going to record it at a low FPS so I can do a bit of a time lapse with it. Nothing fancy, just hopefully, basically like my perspective of it so you'll know it's been done legitimately and stuff i i will get the camera mods and stuff all set up for this thing and do it properly soon but unfortunately to get the camera mods working it needs to be installed on the server and i can't really do that without interfering with everybody else and as you can see dave and nipter are both on at the moment so what it'll basically do is i'll show you some of the resources i've gathered so far so here we have some a lot of wood and a lot of leaves we're going to need a lot more, I reckon. And some basalt and some marble for the actual spider and the web. Not enough again. Uh, what I did to get the basalt, actually, is I did I used one of my silk touch pickaxes, of which I have quite a few. And uh, you know what? I was going to just use an enderpearl to get back across, but I really need those for the gravitation thing. So I'm just going to swim. And whilst I swim back across, I will show you a quick, 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 quick time lapse of me using the silk touch on the volcano near Dave's base. See ya! Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. So basically, uh, you know, most of you have met Molly now. I hope you enjoyed the last bit of the video where I showed you exactly how far away I live from the rest of the guys. Molly is my trusty steed, full health at the moment, as you can see. Also, when we changed the um, uh, mo the not the mo creatures, basically we've been fiddling around with the um, with the spawning algorithms for a while now because there's a, there are some consistent problems with them. For example, we haven't been able to find any brain zombies yet which is a bit of a problem. But when we did that, I got a whole bunch of fresh new animal spawns, spawns on this island, including a couple more sheep, so I was able to grab them in, and why don't I have any wheat on me? Anyway, I don't have any wheat, so I'll breed them later. But we also have a couple of new additions to our world in terms of pets. Uh, we have the wonderful Jaws. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, we have a... <laughs> what the hell is this? I also got myself a dog <laughs> that I haven't named yet, and you can't name through the Mo Creatures thing. But uh, yeah, if you want to come up with a name for him in the c comments, please feel free. We have Jaws, because Jaws is actually probably one of my favourite movies of all time. I absolutely adore that movie, hence the little mont the sort of homage at the beginning of it. And we also have Babar. Again, one of my favourite TV, TV shows from childhood. I don't know what we're going to do with these guys. Uh, I basically think of them as my wee wee beasties. <laughs> on top of the actual beasts that I will be building. Um, so yeah, if you can think of anything cool. I mean, I'd like to do a zoo, but at the moment you can only have a maximum of 10 pets. So a, a zoo of 10 people would be a bit crappy. But, you know, we'll, if, you know we'll, have a, we'll have a think about it. If you have any ideas, feel free to mes message me about them in the comments. The astute of you will also have noticed that there are a couple more, and by a couple I mean a ton more waypoints. I've done a lot of exploring. In fact, let me just show you my my little, let me just show you the waypoints, right? We have now got a total of, let's just remove this one. Uh, is it remove? Remove. Okay, we have a total of 14 cave spider spawners. And we have a regular spider spawner. 
and a skeleton spawner. So we're doing pretty good. I really want a zombie spawner, then we'd have pretty much the full the full thing. The fact that we have so many cave spider spawners is making me seriously consider just getting the soul shard stuff and using it and making one red pyre cave spider spawner, or maybe even two, I don't know. No, probably just one and putting it in the thing because it would be a lot more compact, a lot more powerful, and also a lot more controllable with redstone. So that is something we're probably actually going to think about doing. Uh, the other ones, the skeleton one, I think I'll just be moving with the gravity gun. But we still want to get the gravity gun, without a doubt. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to be getting the gravity gun. Anyway, for both of those things, we're going to have to do journey into the nether. But not yet. Now is tree building time. But let's just quickly go in and show you some of the stuff I've been doing. Oh yeah, I've also got one of these. I used some of the diamonds that I got to make myself a crafting bench, which has allowed me to get a lot of different enchantments, including an efficiency 3 one, which is what I used to get these where are they no these 26 diamonds plus the two is it two that's required for that or three plus the ones that were required for the enchanting table is it maybe just one and the three for the pickaxe so quite a few in, in a bunch I actually found very few veins i think maybe four veins in total so we're quite lucky to get 26 out of it also been using the efficiency three on the redstone and the coal i also did this little handy sort of adjunct because what I've got basically here is a way of quickly reaching down and putting oh not not in the pulverizer itself putting it into there and going down and checking on my four coal powered sterling engines so let's see what we're doing here why is that gold that's not going in here surely there's space for it whatever I, I'm sure it'll go eventually I don't know why it's just not going into that chest, though. Maybe it... Oh, it only considers it as one chest. Aha, uh -huh, so if I just move this down here... Will that work? Yeah. That's really strange, but I guess it makes sense. So I better not sort any of that stuff. And leave space for stuff to go in. Sorry, guys, this is pretty boring work here. But yeah, so I, you know, I'm pulverizing a lot of my stuff. Still haven't got round to making the furnaces and stuff because I kind of want to do that on camera. And to be honest, I've got a lot, so many other projects in the go at the moment that it's difficult to do that strictly on camera. So doing it that way. Let's make sure these have got enough coal, which they won't. Right, let's take a stack. That's where all my coal has been going. I'm gonna split this stack four ways. And this should mean that they don't really produce enough power to blow anything up. It's not the most efficient. I think I will be switching to something better. Well, hopefully we'll be switching to something better to once I get all the furnaces and stuff set up. But we're pretty good. We're pretty good to go. Uh, I've got some more tools in here I want to show you guys. So I've got an unbreaking and an iron pickaxe, which is actually it's dead, but I don't know why. It's You know the way sometimes they come back even after they break? Really weird bug. Uh, we also have another silk touch with efficiency 3, which is pretty damn cool. And this silk touch. And I used another silk touch on the basalt little montage that you saw there before. So yeah, we're doing pretty well, actually. Let's make sure we take this shovel with us, because I've been missing this shovel a lot. And let's put the ender pearl in here. So we need one more ender pearl, ender pearl still. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. Always like to keep sorted. Always. Okay. Alright, guys. So I'm going to wait for it to be day. In fact, am I the only one on the server right now? No. I'm going to wait for it to be day. And I am going to then start building the tree. See you guys.
Okay guys, as you can see, I've done a bit of work, on, well I've done quite a bit of work on the tree. Um, it's difficult though, and what I'm realizing is it's going to be so difficult that it's almost next to impossible without flying. So I really need to work on a jetpack, I think. I think a jetpack will be good enough. Uh, and I know we have some oil out there, so we could have a fuel powered jetpack. We could have an electronic fuel jetpack. What we really need to do though, is in order to get a jetpack, we need glowstone. Because we're going to need advanced circuits. Pretty sure about this. Yeah, we'd, well, that doesn't need an advanced circuit, I guess. Hmm. It's difficult to say. But to get the gravity gun, we definitely do. So we're going to go to Nether. And we're going to do that now, I believe. Let me show you what else I've done downstairs. Just get a flint and steel. Uh, where's, where's my way downstairs? Here it is, I turned around there. Turned this into an iron furnace just to make it slightly more uh, efficient. Because I was using it still, but I've also now got a powered furnace. And I've got two uh, droppers on top here, which are basically, this doesn't, it doesn't suck it down, but I can just manually move in all these pulverized dusts into these droppers, or hoppers, or whatever they're called. Eventually down into the powered furnace, which is working away here. Now, this is dropping down in energy a little bit. Uh, but these two engines are going. What I'm going to do is going to turn these two on and these two off. And hopefully there'll be enough of a buffer to heat that up because I just want to make sure that we don't like overheat any of those engines. We're going to go to the nether soon so it'll unload. But as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. We've got, you know, lots of stacks of iron. We should be doing pretty well for resources. So let's go find a place to temporarily place this nether portal. Hmm. Hello, zombie. Let me see, 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 let me see. Pretty cool if we could place it just out here in the water. Let me see if I can place it on this edge. It'll require a bit of a steady hand. Where'd that go? Did that go underneath the water? Did it even place? Can't even remember. I placed above. Well, that's okay. I guess we'll just have to go with that. <laughs> well, I can just do this, can't I? So I can go bang. Okay, now right, let's try, make, try and make sure we don't get this wrong. And pick up that as well. And put our two things here. Right, okay. It's too wide, isn't it? And then I've got enough to make a nice looking one. Yeah, so. Uh, usually get these wrong the first time around, so let me just make sure it's definitely another block up at least. Ooh. And then, yeah, it's another block up in the sense that if we're going to make a nice looking one, yeah, so let's just make sure we, why did, why did I do that there, I'm a moron. Ah, oh, it! Failing with Gar. You guys are used to that. We really need to make sure my microphone gets better, guys. I know I'm very conscious of the fact that the sound quality isn't all that great at the moment. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, that's definitely the right shape. Now, let's see if we get this the right time around. Of course not. Whoever does. Professionals, like lying. You go to the nether all the time. Also going to put this obsidian down in my... Come on. Down in my pulverizer hopper, because pulverized obsidian is pretty useful, I think, for memory. I know you can pulverize it, so... Oh, I think it's required for hardened glass, I believe. Anyway, where are we going now? Oh yeah, the nether. <laughs> so I don't know how much of this nether... I think I'll probably just end this episode here with me going into the nether. Uh, I don't know where we're going to spawn. I'll at least show you guys where we're going to spawn, and uh, then we'll go and try and get some glowstone in the next episode and come back and work on some more of the stuff. Alright, bye guys. See ya! Achievement good.